Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for stopping by our documentation section to learn a bit more about Divi sections. So the important thing to know here is that every single page on a Divi website is made up of three things, sections, rows, and modules. So with sections being so important, we thought we'd make sure that you know exactly how to use them and get the most out of them. So in this video, we're gonna show you everything you need to know to get started and to begin mastering Divi sections. Check it out. In this video, I'll be giving a basic overview of Divi sections. Divi sections are the biggest building block in the Divi Builder. You can think of them as horizontal stacking blocks that can group your content into visually distinguishable areas. In Divi, everything you build starts with a section. It's, it's like a content wrapper that has various settings that can be used to do some really awesome things. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a closer look. Right now, I'm editing a landing page using the visual builder. And as I hover over certain sections, you can see that uh, they're highlighted in different colors. Uh, for instance, this is a row that's highlighted in green. And you'll see a gray menu pop up when I hover over some individual modules there. But the biggest one, the, the one that wraps everything together is the Divi section here. And that one is highlighted in blue. And so if I wanted to hover over and click on some of these uh, menu items up here, you can see that I can drag the entire section if I want to different elements of the page. I could also click on settings and give this section a different background. Right now it has a background image. Um, if I wanted to, I could take that out and, and, and maybe just give it a, a, a background color of black. Um, if I wanted to change the design, I could uh, maybe change the spacing. Uh, that's something you can do. Right now I got um, a custom padding set. And of course, like it, like with all of the modules and rows and set and sections, you can target the, um, the entire section with a unique CSS ID or class, and then uh, style it accordingly in your external style sheet if you want, or just give it some inline CSS code right here um, by targeting the main element, which is your section. All right, and also, uh, of course, change the visibility set settings here to hide an entire section if you want on mobile devices. All right, let's exit out of here and let's just see what it's like to add a new section. In fact, you have three different types of sections that you can add. To add a new section, you would simply hover over this plus circle blue icon down here. And you can see the tooltip that pops up that says add new section. Click on that and you can see that I have the option of adding a new section that is a regular section, a specialty, and a full width section. Since we've already looked at a regular section, which is highlighted in blue, um, we can take a look at this specialty section. Now a specialty section is as it is named special because it can do some things that a regular section cannot do uh, as, and the main thing that it can do is deploy a a sidebar to your layout now this is important because a sidebar uh, spans the full length of the section or the page um, and and then it allows you to add maybe some unique layouts for images if you wanted to create maybe a masonry layout. Let's go ahead and add a, a specialty section just so you can see a little bit of how it's set up. Um, as you can see, the, the section that I chose, the layout that I chose, has the option of setting a row on the right side. Uh, let's go ahead and choose a two-column row on the right side. And let's go ahead and add a few text modules to it. Um, so you'll know this is a module within a column here. This is a column. Let's copy and paste it over there. That's a column. And you notice on the left side where my sidebar is, there's really no 
option for a, a column setup because it is a sidebar. It's already set. I could go in and add a, a search bar if I wanted, since it's going to be a sidebar there. All right. And notice that the specialty section is distinguishable by uh, its orange highlight color there. And of course, as with the regular section you can go in and change the settings as well as well as duplicate it and save it to your library if you wanted to or delete it uh, let's go ahead and add a different section let's go ahead and choose the full width this time now a full width section comes uh, with some unique modules and uh, you can't use regular modules in a full width section and you can't use full width modules in a regular section. So it's unique. These modules are unique to this full width layout. So if you're building a full width page um, and it's a, well, then it would be a good idea to use a full width section. So let's, for this example, this is a popular one, a uh, full width header module. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a title. So we know what it is. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and uh, center it. And let's give it a, a, a different background. And you notice that I'm changing the background of the module. And when I do that, give it a, a light gray background. When I do that, you see how it spans the full width of the browser window there. Um, so I, I don't even have to go and change the setting, uh, excuse me, the background of the section because the module itself, because it's a full width module, spans the full width by default. All right. Um, and we've already seen an example of a regular section, but let's just go ahead and add one just so you can see. Um, let's go ahead and add a regular section. You can see it automatically gives you or pops up the option to add a row. So I'll select, select the one column row there. And let's go ahead and add another text box. Excuse me, text module. This is a regular section. And let's make it look a little cleaner. Make it bigger. And let's center it. And let's save that. Go back to our section settings. And let's change the background to dark. And there you go. All right, so you can already see that adding a new section and changing the background creates some distinguishable areas here that are helpful to the user and in your design to lay out your content in a, in a nice organized way. So as you can tell in the rest of my page here, each section uh, is doing just that, um, adding different colors to the backgrounds. Um, you can even choose to add uh, transitional elements like a, a divider or whatever you want to separate them as well. But there you go, there's your overview of Divi sections.